up everybody, it's Titanic and Feed Jack. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker that's set to release the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. Uh, I believe that's September the 2nd. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Also, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video and the sneaker that we're going to look at today. And since you're already done that, do look in that description box. There are some links in there, some uh, products you can save money on, i.e. the display cases right behind me that are made by Easy Baron. They fit up to size 15 sneakers. See that sneaker right there? They're going to come out with a reverse one, I believe, around holiday time. Those are size 15 right there. They fit very comfortably in that box. Also, some cleaner to clean them. Yes, I am a partner with Rejuvenator. And I do have my own brand. You can find that link in the description box. Now, enough of all that. This is the box. We got a black and gold box. Black box, gold, Nike branding on here. Yep, Saints fans probably love this box. But here's a look at the box label. And give you a little 360 of the box. Man, is it me or that gold is shining on here? It's underneath the box. Let's read the box label. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the color is black metallic gold and palomino. This is a US size 14. These are going to retail at $180 as I show you the last stamp right here inside of the box top. Let's sit that aside. Here's a look at the paper. You got that white paper. It's a little smooth on one side, a little rough on the other. Let's look in the box. And you do have that green and white YCM sticker right there. And that's pretty much everything that came in the box, guys. So this is the box. Let's get into the shoe. Here you go, guys. We have the Air Jar Retro One Palomino. That Palomino name has been going around quite a lot these last few months. We have a Palomino 3 that released, have a Palomino Low, have a Palomino Mid. The Palomino name is just all over Jordan brand with sneakers today. So we have this one right here, the High OG Jordan 1, made on an all black base. You got black on your quarter panel, some nice soft leather right there going around your uh, toe cap, your mud guard as well. You got that Wings logo right here. It's puffed out on the lateral ankle collar. Yes, and you do have that Palomino Brown New Buck swoosh right here. Also, you have that uh, New Buck on your uh, ankle collar, your heel. And we're gonna take a look at the midsole. You do have that sail color midsole. Yes, it's that off-white type color midsole that age look again and you have the palomino brown at the very bottom which leads to the outsole all brown jaws one outsole this is the back of the sneaker get you a good look at that heel and that ankle collar and they did use some pretty good materials on here is uh the padding around your ankle is nice and puffy and soft like charming now we're going to look at the medial side of the sneaker. You can see that Palomino new buck coming around from the other side. Around your ankle collar, also on your Nike swoosh and the heel. More of that nice soft black leather on your quarter panels. You have that off-white looking color, that sail color on your midsole. And you do have the brown on the very bottom. And we're going to take a look at one of my favorite parts of the sneaker, the toe box. Let's look inside first. It does come stuffed with this tissue right here. And good look at the new book, the brown new book. Very little change of direction. Prior to this video, I did treat these with the uh, rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Nice and soft leather around this mud guard right here. Comes with the one set of laces, the black flat laces. You have a black nylon tongue right here. And 
the woven patch is black with gold Nike branding. Let's talk about it. Hearing people saying they don't like the uh the color of the Nike Air branding. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. Does it make or break the sneaker? Are you going to decide not to get it because of it? Or it really doesn't matter. Just let me know your thoughts about the color of that Nike branding on this woven patch. Same metallic gold on the back side of it. And you do have a black sock liner going on right here. Nice and soft. That satin type feel. Let's see. Yes. The insert does come out fairly easy. This is a look at the insert black insert you got that metallic gold nike air branding and you do have your size it's sticker us size 14 and here we go seems like it's another dream cell insert let's take a look at the sizing tag give you guys the best look i possibly can here we go yeah that's the sizing tag Okay, let's go ahead and read that puppy. USI 14 production date February the 1st of 2023 to March 21st of 2023. So about a month and a half of production on these guys. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. The sizing on these. You can go true to size. You do not need to size up on these. Your jarring ones typically run a little bigger. I've even heard people say they size down in their Jordan ones. Me personally, I do not. I just get that size 14 thing. So true to size on these for the most part. Uh are these coming in grade school sizes? I believe so. Yes, they actually are because they own the sneakers at right now. So we're gonna get these in grade sizes as well. $180 for the men pair. And people are comparing these to the mochas. I touched a few pair of mochas, just didn't have it in my size because I wasn't gonna pay resale for a shoe that was so close to the Travis one, Travis Scott ones, the high OGs. I do have those, which I paid retail for, so. I wasn't paying resale for the Mocha ones. However, Mocha one is a nice shoe, but it's compared to this Palomino one. I see my boy D Guy Juice posted a picture with this Palomino one, the Mocha ones, and the Travis Scott High OG one. He had all three in the picture. Shout out to D, but that's what they're comparing this to. Me personally, if you have the Mochas, you may want to get this if you're a collector then if you don't get it for retail i wouldn't sweat it to pay resale for this sneaker it should be fairly easy to get for re i'm sorry for retail if you put in that leg work but that's the sneaker in a nutshell the air john retro one palomino so i'm gonna end the video like i always tell you guys if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.